for love is truly gold. What do I mean by this? Most of us think when we fall in love, actually when we meet a partner and um, we have the same hobbies, we um, get to smile with each other, play around with each other, we think we are in love. No. Love is actually I don't know the exact words to explain but I have my guests today who one is from Nigeria another one from Uganda are gonna tell us how much they know about love well not forgetting I'm your host Edith Victoria welcome to the show memory lane where we take you down the road to where this lovely couple met up to where they are so um, let me introduce to you my lovely guests, one from Nigeria and another from Uganda, Mr. Obehan Patrick. Hello, Sylvia. viewers at home. Sylvia Nachito, hello, viewers. Yes, now, l l gentlemen and lady, actually, Mr. and Mrs., I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs., <laughs> you, you really, ah, that is true love. What, what is it called? Global citizens. Glo global what? Citizens. <laughs> global citizens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, before we get to the part of how you actually met, you were in Nigeria. Have you ever been to Uganda? Yeah, I was in Uganda in April. Of this year? April this year. To your, first, your first time you spent That was my first time of coming to Uganda to formally get acclimatized to the environment. I love the place. I love the people. So the first time you came was to formalize with her? Yeah. Okay, wow. And you were born Ugandan? And Kampala, you are Muganda, Mutoro, okay. You are the first born, yes. This is good luck <laughs> to the rest of the family. Eh? Okay, so how, how did you end up meeting this lovely, gent very smart, lovely gentleman from Nigeria? How I got the job was also amazing because uh, currently I'm working with Qatar Airways. So they came, interviewed us, and I went to Qatar. But little did I know that that will be the country where I will get my better help. So we met in Doha, Qatar. <laughs> so Qatar is in Nigeria. Doha, Qatar. Qatar is a country on its own in Middle East. Yes, in Middle East. All the way from Nigeria. Um, I reside in Doha, Qatar. We met over there in Doha, and since we met, life has been blissful. Love has been in the air right from the one. You can see the, the bond is can, so much. I, I oh my dear. This is called. How, how does it actually feel to be in love? You know, love is, love is everything any man can desire in this world. True, true love, not just. True love, it's unexpressible. You know, it's what you live up for every day. She's my wife. Ah. <laughs> 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 so, um, where actually, who connected the two of you? How, where, how did it actually all happen? Uh, for me, I should say I think it was good because I had to pray about it. I didn't just want to get married to any man. I prayed to God to give me the man he ordained for me. So... At the end of one of the recession for fasting and prayer at church, finally at the end of that session we met. You met in church? Yeah, at church, at the end of fasting and prayer session. So, okay. yeah, so, it was kind of like a joke pushing me to do shopping on my own. Then that's he, how he things. Pushed you to do shopping exactly. How? Actually, how did he approach you? <laughs> mm. Mm. I was supposed to ask my friend to push me to do the shopping, so he improvised by asking him to do this, to do so on <laughs> his behalf. Shopping, shopping for, like. I was going to shop for. Uh, I come in here. Uh, we've met. Uh, we met. That was in on 30th of auto, on 30th of June 2015. That was at the end of uh, one of the prayer sessions we have in the church okay. back in Doha. Okay. Well, actually, love has been in the air, so 
she was meant to go for a shopping, so I went with her. Somebody was meant to go with her, but he's a friend of mine, so he, he, was, he was not privileged to go with her because he has another engagement. So he now said, okay, please go on my behalf, assist her to do this shopping. He, he created he a, a, way. a way for it. <laughs> and from the shopping, we went for dinner. From the dinner. No, first, wait. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> now, when you went shopping, you know, you get into the car. Hello, how are you? You know. So, how, how, what gave you the, cur the courage to say, okay, you know what? Let me go on and tell her how I feel. Actually, it wasn't that first time because we knew each other as uh, congregates in that same church. So we knew each other. It wasn't like a real shock, but I didn't know that it would go that far. So from dinner, we started like friends, calling each other. No more friends. Yes. So eventually, where does it come in, the love, you know? Because uh, we were ready for it. When we met each other, we were into boyfriend and girlfriend thing. We were into family. We were ready to get married because we knew this was it. She was ready for it and I was ready for it. So what did your family say about the Ugandan girl? Wow. Oh, I told you, this is global thing. This is <laughs> global citizenship. This is Africa for you. She's black and beautiful. <laughs> what if you're a black man desire? So I was happy meeting her. She's... She's a dream come true for my family, for my parents. They were happy seeing her because actually my parents have been expecting me to bring a, a white lady, somebody living overseas. White. Yeah. So this <laughs> little did they know black is beauty. When they saw black, it was like it was what they yearned for. She felt at home. There was no different. Even when I took her to Nigeria, you wouldn't know she's not in Nigeria because she's as black as every other Nigerian. <laughs> so, so it was just at home, right from the one who felt at home knowing each other. So our, our meeting has been orchestrated by God, it's divine. So how, um, how, long, how long was that when you met and then go and meet the family? We met in um, 30th of June 2015. Yes. And by April, 19th of April, this 2016, year. we already we went to Nigeria to formally get familiarized with the family. From there, we came oh, to oh, Uganda. How did it feel? How did it feel going to this Nigerian family? At first, I was a bit tense, you know. The no, first. <laughs> Actually, to be to be real, in the first first time, I was not really into the relationship with, because I had I had this fear that maybe him not being a fellow Ugandan, it would cause problems for my family to accept him. But because, like he has said, it was ordained, we had to pray about it. So first meeting my in-laws. It was a bit tense, but the first time I talked to them on phone, it, the way they welcomed me okay. on phone, it gave me comfort, like maybe they are good. So physically true. meeting them, they were okay, the mother loved me so much, and the father accepted me there and then, there yeah. and then. Wow. So wow. that was the confidence and comfort I got from it's them. It's all the work of the Lord. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, Nigerians are prayerful. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Please go, Loco. Okay, let me continue. I wow. want to preach instead. <laughs> okay, um, so after, after meeting each other's families, yeah. so you know there's always this pressure, okay, when are you getting married? Who wants some grandchildren? Is there yeah. like twins? <laughs> we are praying for twins, actually. Actually. I have just blessed you with twins. Man. Amen. I what is it? It. All the people that we are meeting this time around have been telling us twins, so twins. we receive it. <laughs> Amen to Amen. that. Amen. I hope I'm the good mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you will still be around. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, along the way, um, you, you meet and um, go meet each other's families, get to like each other, but these little details in relationships that always determine whether you're going to end to stay with this person beyond yeah. five or ten years. Yeah. So 
what did you like about her that enticed you to say, let me continue something, let me start something serious with her? The, the most important thing I like about her, she has God, she fears God. So when I was looking for a wife, I was looking for a home, somebody who can make me a home, and she is the one. God brought her at such a time, so I don't have any doubt about it, because when you have God, you have everything. Okay. So I was able to trust her because she trusts God. So how is her cooking? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> you know, there, uh, also, there is always a saying that we can get to a man's heart eh? yeah, through the stomach. stomach. <laughs> Actually, that is right. Because uh, I started enjoying uh, Uganda meals back then in Doha when I used to eat matoke. Nice. <laughs> Delicious. She's good in kitchen. Has she, you've tasted bounded yam. Yes, I did. I didn't watch it in movies. Yeah. I always attribute it. It tastes like our um, cassava flour. When you mingle the cassava flour, oh, it's almost. So, have you, have you yet learned how to prepare some of those Nigerian special dishes? Actually, I'm in the lesson classes for that, <laughs> I should say. I've not yet perfected it. Yeah. But I'm in classes for that. Okay. Mm. So what will you tell us about him the same? God, thank you. This is the right man I've been saying for Actually, for me, while I was praying for the man I want to get married to, I wrote down all the... You made a list. Yeah, the principles I have to follow and the factors. I should make a list. Exactly. You know why? Because it helps you to, to check on what you really, really want in life because they might be many but of course they are the major ones because. yeah so among them was uh god fearing because he okay. he loves god he's not just a church goer okay. he loves god he has god at heart and then and then uh while we were dating i saw he is intelligent he's an intelligent man Very and i used sharp. to look for an intelligent man so what, how can you tell he's intelligent the way he handles issues. Issues. Exactly. Which issues? I should say all. Family, all. at work, re church related. Yeah. You see the intelligence Bedroom. in him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that comes in. That is more of hard working mm -hmm. than intelligence. <laughs> wow, that is a nice comment. Understanding intelligent man, and I used to look for an intelligent man. So, how can you tell he's intelligent? The way he handles issues. Issues. Yeah, exactly. Issues. I should say all family, at work, re church related. You see the intelligence in him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that is more of hard working than oh. intelligence. <laughs> wow, baby. Okay. So, um, there, um, like I said, in relationships, it's not only about things we, we like about each other. Sometimes we get um, difficulties understanding what my partner wants or what they don't want. So... What are these things you found, you found might be obstacles to your love, but you're trying to fight them? The only obstacle to love for me mm. is to stop believing. Stop, stop. It to stop believing, yeah. yeah. When you stop believing in love, yeah. it won't work for you. You know, I believe no matter how love, no matter how small it is, when she met me, she met the man, not she met the personality in me. She met my person, not what I have. So I appreciate her for meeting me as a person and at the right time. And sometimes when you appreciate something, God blesses it for you. So when you stop appreciating the little you have, it diminishes. So the only thing, the only obstacle in love is to reduce the appreciation. No matter how little it is, when you magnify it, it becomes big. Okay. 
so, so the handsome gentleman billionaire i'm seeing right <laughs> now we are seeing right now it's all her work yeah. high five girl <laughs> <laughs> so okay back to her what what has gotten you what has gotten you so mad so crazy about him you, you feel like saying you know what i don't want this anymore Actually, there's nothing like that can make me really crazy, but um, the weaknesses we find in each other, we, try, we tend to talk about it. And what I know from him, when he makes a mistake, he, he respects. That is the factor he has, he respects. He will ask for forgiveness and he will tell you, I'm trying to get rid of that. So there are some things which don't take, like they don't just go in a second. They so take some they time, so yeah. he's able so to do so. Yeah, you've always talked about it. Exactly. The key is communication. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. So, um, I want to know, you know, like there are very many men who have approached me, eh? some have really, should I call them, I don't know what word to use, but it's, it doesn't ever get to me, the, the words they use, the lines. So, which exact words? I would be asking you, but let her tell me. Which exact words did he use? You know, that moment, exact words did he use to say, you know, beauty, I will marry you, and I want you to be my own. Uh, no, wait. <laughs> Let's take a short break. With love and dating tips with your girl, Tush.